Good afternoon, listeners, and welcome from Queen Street, home of Bilston Town Football Club, for this uh, pre-season friendly clash between Bilston Town and Tamworth. Okay, so in goal for Tamworth is Jazz Singh, two James Clifton, three Jordan Goff, four Ryan Bezik, five Marshall Willock, six Nathaniel Roturner, seven Delano Reed, returning to his club where Tamworth purchased him from. Eight, Jimmy Fry, recovering from that head injury. Nine, Dan Creaney. Ten, Bilal Yafai. Eleven, Revenal James. On the bench, Charlie Shaw, Jordan Clement, Zizim Banda, and Stephen Beja. It will be roll on, roll off substitutes, and we are underway. Tamworth will kick from our left to our right. Early touch, back heel for Revenel James. Now Fry out to Clifton, he's got plenty of room to chip it down the line for James to chase. He'll do well to get there, he does get a foot to it, but it only falls to a Bilston defender who can clear up to halfway. Corner now to Tamworth, so one arm aloft from Ryan Bezzi. Very central, it's over the keeper, it's chubby in the back of the net, surely it is. And it's Dan Creaney with his second pre-season goal. He actually nodded it down and had all the freedom in the six-yard box just to be able to <laughs> pick up on his own knockdown, Stuart, and knock it into the back of the net. Yeah, we did. Um, you know, really, if you, you think about it, probably, you know, not taking any faith from Dan Creaney, but it's done a bit poor defending, really, because once he knocked that one down, it should have and could have probably been dealt with, but he had all the spaces to knock it into the back of the net. And it was um, Aaron Northall that struck that shot for Bilston a couple of minutes ago. They're only shot of the game so far. Ball into the Bilston box. Rev James brings it down, slots it under the keeper, threw his legs at the near post. A really stylish finish by Revenel James Stewart. It certainly was, and that was as cool as you like, wasn't it, Kev? Yeah, Dan Creaney with his second goal of pre-season, and Rev James also getting on the score sheet this afternoon. The opening, well, I'd say the game has all been pretty much all Tamworth from the opening 19, 20 minutes or so, but the opening seven or eight minutes when Bilson were looking like they wanted to go forward as well and they were much more exposed at the back. So to Rev James, does well to get into the box. Creaney! It's his second of the game, his third of pre-season, but it was all about Rev James Stewart. It certainly was, but then, you know, I don't really know how to explain it. Dan Creaney was just in acres of space in the box and he just turned around and fired the ball into the open net. He was under no pressure and the keeper didn't even attempt to, to make any sort of save. It was it was so far in, in, in the corner, just inside yeah. the post, it hit the side net in there and uh, I think the keeper knew the moment that was hit, yeah. he wasn't getting anywhere near it. To keep the pressure on Tamworth this afternoon, they just keep pushing Bilston and make sure that they get as many goals as they can, really work their lungs and their, their cardio. This ball forward towards Rev James, he's got between the defence and the keeper. The keeper's nowhere, almost an empty goal to knock it into, but really good defending by D. Sinclair, almost off the line there to deny Rev James what would be a deserved second goal. Yeah, I'd have to agree, he did all, everything right there. Good touch again in field there and round the corner from Yafai and Fry even, and then Creamy now picks up the... Ball on the edge of the right edge of the 18-yard box, feeds it into James, who gets into the back post and volleyed over the bar by that man, Delano Reed. Well, that would have been a goal to remember, Stuart. It certainly was, not it wasn't too far over the top either, was it? And the keeper was well beaten. But players like Rev need, need a club uh, and a manager at some point to put their arm around the shoulder and say, look, I believe in you, you can do this. And that's what he's getting here at Tamworth. Here's Jordan Goff now, furthest forward he's been. Gets the flick over. And actually, it comes off. Dan Creaney manages to flick the cross onto the roof of the net, actually. There is the half-time whistle and a really good workout for Tamworth, of course, at the break here at Queen Street. It is Bilston Town nil, Tamworth 3. Again, Bilston needs to defend. James putting all sorts of pressure on the Bilston back line and they somehow survive. And then back from Malik to... Lewis, who clears long up towards halfway, but Bilston just cannot get out. Every time it comes up to halfway, there's usually a Tamworth body there first. Here's James Clifton now. Chips one 
towards Dan Creaney. Well, it's closer to the goalkeeper, actually, Ryan Lewis, who plucks that one out of the air just under the crossbar. And certainly not what James Clifton would have intended. Yeah, I bet he's having a mare of an afternoon. Is the oh, giving keeper. away again at the back is Rev James. Oh, he's oh. put it wide. Oh. Put it wide, and he had Dan Creaney unmarked in the middle as well. And you can't blame the youngster for taking the shot on, but he really has to hit the target there. No, and the keeper once again was rooted to the spot, and you know he's not really having the best of afternoons, is he, Kev? Is the Bilson keeper. Free kick against the home side there in favour of Tamworth, about 20, 30 yards from the Tamworth goal. Bezik puts it down and he'll take it early. And there's two runners now in Creaney and James. James's first touch isn't bad at all, goes for the shot. Oh, and it's wide again. And it eluded Dan Creaney coming in at the far post as well. And as the rain begins to pour down again this afternoon, Kev, it's getting a little bit feisty out there, isn't it? Yeah, it's good to see actually, Stuart. It's pace is picking up with those substitutes. Tamworth on the attack again. Revenel James. Handball surely on the edge of the 18 yard D. If he can whip this one in off the, tur off the turf about six yards from goal, it'd be hard for the keeper to get down to. He goes to the top corner. Oh, what about that, Ryan Bezzi? What about that? Yeah, and he's, he's just turned round. And he's not even celebrating, as he goes, he just turned around and started heading back to the centre of the pitch. few hang sheets with his teammates. What a nonchalance, the yeah. way he just curled that into the corner. And it was very similar to the goal away at Needham Market last season, although it was a little bit further out and a bit more pace on it. Yeah, I think this one went a bit higher in the, in the goal. Charlie Shaw's done well there, just running rings around Tamar Hussein. And Clement now strides over halfway. Little pass out to Yafai. The two linking up well, and Goff now finding himself more advanced again. He's into the area, gets it across, oh, oh it's in the one! And it's Dan Creamy's hat trick! His fourth of pre season. Tamworth are running right, Stuart. They absolutely are now, that makes it Bilton Tower nil, Tamworth five. Again, that area of the game that we might criticise slightly. Perhaps the ball into the box isn't always the best. Yeah, and Bilston resorted to playing the ball back up from the back again and are immediately back under pressure straight away. Ryan Bezik has been clipped there by the big substitute number 16, Shaq Parry. It's closer. For one time, the post not hindering my view because I could actually see the ball, but I would think that Ryan's going to probably try and place it the same place that the, the first three surprise me if he puts it exactly the same place. Yeah, he's going to try. He, he will strike it. He's actually played it across to Jordan Clement. Back across. Goal! Oh, nearly another one for Creaney. And he got there first at the near post, but it was wide and into the car park area. Yeah, well, Bilston I survived. You know, I wasn't expecting that whatsoever. I was expecting to try and score again. But it does give Bilston this chance now, and I would imagine that they will strike this straight as Jazz Singh in the goal because it's in a very inviting position, just left of the 18-yard box. It is, and just... You know, I just think what it would, would feel for them to actually, if they were to score a goal game this afternoon, you know, it's like we said earlier, it's like us getting that goal against Aston Villa in midweek when Dad Greeny headed home. Strike is that goal, good save by Singh and it's not fully cleared and it eventually is into the back of the net. Tamworth don't get their clean sheet. Well, it just ricocheted up off Singh and then the crossbar, I believe, and it just, it was just a mess in there, really. Like a man on a mission to me, Stuart Jordan Clement. There, the way he picked that up and just that sudden change of pace, yeah, for throws a, through the middle of the park. For a minute there, I thought he was going to have a pop, Kevin, try and blast one in the back of the net. Here he is again, Clement, neatly taking that one down on the halfway. Goes for the one-two with Creaney. It's through to Rev James. Toe pokes it towards goal, and he does get his second goal of the game, and it is richly deserved by Ravenel James. And a fantastic scoreline here at Queen Street, Stewart. It is Bilston Town 1, Tamworth 6. Yeah, and probably the most difficult one he's had to try and roll into the back of the net, Kev. He's actually managed to get in. The more simpler ones, yeah, well, we say that, but they look more simple anyway. Um, he's put wide, so I thought, you know, it's in the back of the net. Tamworth 6 1 to the good. Almost a hand in the face. <laughs> Well, just getting a little bit feisty, actually, and it's probably a good 
job that the game has finished when it has because there's been a couple of tackles that have gone in late and a, a little bit of annoyance with a few players but I think overall the referee has had a really good game this afternoon Mr Clement and Tamworth have got the job done you can only beat what's in front of you there's been a clear difference in the quality of the two teams and of the fitness levels the way that the team shape and patterns of play are working um, and a very really well deserved victory this afternoon Stuart.